Here's a compilation video of all the video game characters that are drawn so far in the 1930s rubber hose style. So in effect, it's like drawing them as Cuphead characters. So, first of all, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, this one was relatively simple. I can't say much more about it. It's not a million miles away from the style, so it was just a case of making a few tweaks here and there, because they were already quite cartoony. Which is something that we'll come across quite a lot in this video, because many of the early video game characters that we know and love today, like Mario, were all based on 1930s rubber hose cartoons. Like, the first iteration of Mario was uh, in Donkey Kong, and he was actually supposed to be Popeye and Bluto, but they couldn't get the license, so they changed it to uh, Donkey Kong, and the rest is history. So we've got Doom Guy here at the moment. This one was an interesting challenge because he doesn't have a lot to go on in terms of features, so I had to just put the eyes in there and then put him in a funny pose. Uh, Dr. Robotnik, again, he'll be very much based on rubber hose stylings, so it was just a case of uh, whether I could dial those up in some instances, like around the eyes and the moustache. And as you can see, I've gone full Cuphead there by putting Cuphead in and making him more of a Cuphead villain. So this Earthworm Jim one uh, got me in a lot of trouble on social media, and you'll see why in a second. And this is why I mark my videos as not for kids. And even though it's a bit of a joke, you can see that there's a bit more detail in the crotch than maybe you would like to see. This Fox McCloud one is super quick, so I can't really talk about it for very long. I went through some phases where I would just make very quick videos without showing much of the process. Freddy Fazbear, on the other hand, I showed a lot more of the process and I actually used real life pencils. Imagine that, and then inked it up in uh, Procreate on the iPad. Sometimes I just struggle to draw the sketch phase in Procreate and I find it easier to just get a pencil and paper out and it's more immediate and I don't know what it is but that's just always the way it's been. Uh, there's Knuckles and oh, Kratos or however you pronounce that. I've never actually played these games before so I didn't know what I was doing but lots of people requested it and I had fun uh, trying to convert him. Let me know what you think of that one in the comments. And Lara Croft, it's the one and again it's a very quick video. And it's basically Betty Boop uh, wearing Lara Croft getup. And here's Link from Legend of Zelda. Now this is a really early one again, so I was just finding my feet with learning the style. But I think it came out okay, and lots of people requested it, so uh, let me know what you think of that one. Uh, Luigi, with this one, I think I based it on Tom and Jerry. Not the famous Tom and Jerry, there was actually an earlier rubber hose cartoon called Tom and Jerry by Van Buren Studios, you can Google it. Uh, and you'll find that it's actually two human characters, not a cat and a mouse. Right, Mario. Again, very early one. I was still finding my feet with the style. Uh, and also Mario, as I explained earlier, is already drawn in this kind of style. So uh, let me know what you think of that one. And here's Mario again. I probably did this a couple of years after. And I think it's just the head. But I wanted to um, have another try at that and see what it came out like. And I think this uh, looks a bit more like the 1980s Mario TV series. Master Chief from Halo had a similar challenge to the Doom Guy one because there's not a lot to go on in terms of appearance, so this one I made it all about the pose and tried to make that as funny as possible. <laughs> Mega Man, he's already basically a rubber hose character, so it was just a case of tweaking it and I put him in more of a Cuphead style pose. And instead of a big extended hand, it's got the, uh, the gun thing. And, oh, Peppino from Pizza Tower. As soon as I saw this game, I thought, I'm going to have to draw it in this style. And I do definitely want to draw the rest of the characters from the game. Um, Princess Peach. This one, uh, I always find it hard to draw female characters. Basically because there's not a lot to go on <laughs> in terms of the old cartoons. But it came out okay. A little bit of a strange pose. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Another game I haven't played but was requested to draw quite a lot. So it's just a case of copying... Uh, the character designs and making them a bit more rubber hosey. And then Sans from Undertale. This is also a super early video, so I was still getting to grips with the rubber hose style. Um, Solid Snake. I can't remember how this one came out. Let's have a look. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, not bad. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of it but still. It works. Uh, again, um, with human characters like this that are a bit serious, it's fun to draw them with a smiley face. Sonic is another one that's not a million miles away from this style already, so what I did was try to make him two heads tall, a bit more like Cuphead, and see if I could make him even more rubber hosey or like Felix the Cat or something like that. Spyro the Dragon. Now from this video you're probably going to notice that I say I haven't played many of these games. This is another one I haven't played, but many people requested it and I wanted to have a go at drawing it because it's a character on four legs, uh, which is kind of rare, so um, just to see what it would look like. Uh, I kind of based it on donkeys and cows from old Disney cartoons. And finally, it's Tails. Many people have been asking for Tails, so here's my best attempt. 
Okay, that's everything for now. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know in the comments who you want me to draw next. Check the description for the tools that I've used. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of thing because I'll be posting lots more on shorts and as long videos in the future.